What is up, Flockers? That is my fellow Lockers and aspiring Lockers. Have your locks ever been super dry and just crusty and dusted and busted and you're wondering, how can I moisturize my locks? What should I be using in them to get them to feel softer and not so crunchy? Then stick around because I'm gonna be showing you my most current updated moisturizing routine. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to keep this one quick, but just a little backstory. As always, I'm a strong, strong advocate for doing what works for you and realizing that what works for one person may not work for someone else. So anything that I share today may or may not work for you, and if it doesn't, then that's fine. You can find something else that does, and if it does work for you, then that's great, and I'm happy that you were able to find something good and useful out of this video. What I am going to share today is my two leave-in conditioners that I use. Now, this one, although it isn't a Carol's Daughter leave-in conditioner bottle, that is not what's in here currently. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I do use this from time to time on top of my locks just to spray, just because of the scent. I don't use it as a leave-in per se, but that bottle ran out, so I put in my mixture in here, my DIY mixture that I'm about to tell you about. I have a new bottle upstairs, so don't worry. I do have another bottle that is full of this, but that's not what is in here. What's in here is my mixture of conditioner and a couple of other things with some peppermint oil in here as well. If you're interested to know exactly what is in my DIY leave-in conditioner, then let me know in the comments below and I can make another video uh, talking about that and sharing that with you. All right, so the first product that I use is this leave-in conditioner that I made myself and it is very liquidy. You can't really see in the bottle, but it is mostly liquid base, and so it's not super heavy if you're thinking I'm just splashing on a bunch of conditioner on my hair. And the, the nozzle on here, it's a very fine mist. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Probably not. But it is a very fine, very, very fine mist. So all I do is I go through, and I wanna saturate my locks. Now, I'm not getting them drenching wet, but I am going to get them damp because I want my locks to be moisturized and I want them to hold in this moisture. There are different ways you can moisturize your locks. I do have a deep conditioning oil treatment that I've done on this channel previously, so if you're interested in seeing that, then I will leave that video down below in the description box and you can check that out after this video. But when you're trying to do something quicker on the go and you don't have time to sit down under a hooded dryer or anything like that, but you do want moisture in your locks because during different times of the year, your locks just get dry and they feel brittle. And anyone who has had brittle locks knows that that's not a good feeling. I personally, as a loose natural, could not just spray water in my hair and go and expect my hair to be moisturized. And I'm the same way with my locks. That's not the same for everybody. There are people on micro lock journeys and sister lock journeys that all they do is mist their hair with water and that's it. They don't do anything extra. They don't put anything extra in. I am not a product junkie. I do not have a ton of products that I put into my hair on a regular basis, but I'm also not afraid to put product in my hair when it is light to help with moisture and things like that. So, like I said, I'm going to go through my locks and when I'm spraying this on, I don't want the water to just sit on top I want it to get into the lock so you see me and I will go through and I do squeeze it in because if you just spray water or whatnot on your locks, whether it's rose water or leave-in conditioner or anything like that, if you're just spraying it lightly on top of your locks, then it's mostly for a scent because it's not going to saturate your locks and get in there, especially if you're in a warm climate. It's probably just going to evaporate off pretty quickly. So because I'm trying to get moisture in, I'm not focusing on my scalp at all. I'm focusing on the length of the lock and I'm squeezing in. And everything that I'm doing on this side, I would do on that side too, but I don't want to take up a bunch of your time today, so I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. So again, that's my DIY leave-in conditioner. Now that my hair on this side is feeling pretty soft and saturated from that, now I'm gonna go in with my second thing. And this is something that I just recently came across online. This is the Lion Locks locking moisturizer i just want to say i'm not being sponsored by them to talk about their product or anything like that as always i just truly want to share the nuggets that i come across and that i have so if there's something that i like or that i'm using i want to share it with y'all i will put the link down below 
for where I got it on Amazon. They do have an actual website, but I got mine off of Amazon. So you can go to their website or you can get it off of Amazon. This is lightweight and healthy hair locking moisturizer that prevents locks from damaging and drying out. It's free of sulfates, parabens, pegs, silicones, dyes, wax, mineral oils, and it comes in an eight ounce jar or whatnot. And what I love about this is that even though when you open it, it does look like a cream, it, well for one, the smell is amazing and I don't even know what to compare it to. Oh, but it, it, it smells heavenly y'all smells so good, but I love how it dries. So it, it is cream base But when you take it off and you rub it in Like even just one rub you see it's already coming out clear So then when you actually go in to rub it in between your hands look at that it Melts like butter. So you're not putting a heavy product into your hair. It smells amazing and just the same as I do, well, this one I'm actually raking through my hair. So those of you that have done wash and goes with your loose natural hair, you're probably very familiar with the raking or praying hands. So that's the method that I use and I squeeze in as I go. And I don't do super small sections. Um, you can do the sections as small or big as you want, but that's kind of how I do that. And then I move on to the next one. Take about a little dollop worth, rub it in my hands. Again, it's coming out clear. And then I'll take another section. It's damp, I can feel that these sections are damp. And I do the same thing, praying hands, rake it through, and squeezing it as I go along to make sure that I'm covering as many of the locks as possible trying to get even distribution throughout all the locks. Again, the smell alone is a winner because it smells amazing. And after this, I wish there was a way that I could show you and that you could feel how soft my locks are once they're dry. Um, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it or you're gonna have to try out something like this for yourself to see. But I'm telling you, and it lasts for a couple of days, so I'm not having to do this daily, but just with doing the leave-in conditioner that is mostly water-based and very, very thin and light, and then putting this line locks on top of it, not only do I have a great smell that I get tons of compliments for when I'm out in public because people smell it and they're like, what is in your hair? It smells so good. But I also have locks that are healthy, they're shiny, they don't feel brittle, they don't feel like if I rake my fingers through them, they, they might snap off or anything like that. Those of you that know, know. Um, yeah, they just, they feel moisturized. Like I said, it lasts for several days and your locks are shiny. They feel soft, they feel good, they smell good. So really, there's no, there's no buildup. And so you're not having to worry about having a bunch of extra stuff in your locks that you're having to wash out later. I've had absolutely no issue with buildup of these products or anything like that and uh yeah so let me know your personal regimen do you do anything on a regular basis maybe not daily but throughout the week to add moisture to your locks do you use oil do you use a leave-in conditioner do you have something else that you use that you're using to moisturize your locks are you more on the side of only water, only rose water, regular water, or do you do nothing to your locks and completely leave them alone? Maybe you don't have issues with moisture in your locks. I'm very curious to know. Let's drop down in the comments and talk about it below. If you have found value in this video, make sure to go ahead and take a second and hit that like button so that I know what type of content you are enjoying. And also hit that subscribe button so that you can join the flock. And while you're here, check out some of the other videos that have popped up and hang around for a while. I'll see you there.